We are sifting through the world. Seeking one thing. Well, we found it. Our beloved brothers and sisters, we long for you, diligently preparing for these days. Your wick has not burned out, and you have light. You have a light and a mind that must be shared. You have a decision to make, you. either awake you to your truth, or continue to live a life you've known you never want. So, who are we exactly? We are the preserved, great scientists, a collection of great minds and an even greater vision, the infinite order of the Asiatic Warrior, ancient knowledge for the modern world. Headmaster, Powhatan Shi Amaru. Do you want to know who and where you are? Learn the truth hidden in plain sight? And become a conscious god on the planet? Or will you choose to fall by the wayside? Ready to join your tribe? Welcome, 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 family. We are elated. We are excited to have you here. On behalf of the Infinite Order of the Asiatic Magi, welcome to today's Suba. We just have a few pieces of etiquette we're going to ask of you. Number one, could you please turn your cameras on? We would love to see your smiling faces today. It means the world to us. The second piece is a four part. We always ask you these four things. Number one, if you can, please bring a pen or pencil to class. Number two, something to write with. Number three, your thinking caps. Knowledge is not meant to just be shared, it's meant to be evolved. So we want you to take an active uh, approach while you're in class. And number four is an open heart. Allow yourself to receive the message, not just in your mind, but in your heart as well. Again, thank you and welcome to our, our class. At this moment, I'm going to pass the mic over to Brother Telemach. He has a few announcements before we get started. Brother? And uh, Thank you again. Assalamu alaikum, fam. My name is uh, Brother Telemach. We would love to thank you for taking your time out to join us on this podcast if you would like we would like to invite all of you that are interested in joining this order please uh visit dr powhatan's uh website at www.powhatanshiamaru.org and if you are led to donate please send them to cash app communicating better please send anything that helps um to continue our uh, work and continue everything that we're doing in this order. Uh, make sure you reach out to brothercosti.com for brand development. Uh, make sure you reach out at Fatima Trust uh, for her services of virtual assistance. And make sure you uh, also visit Jake Anwar's The Black Reserve Bookstore. Those are our sponsors and we uh, love y'all and we want y'all to continue supporting us and them. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for that beautiful, for that beautiful over, overview. At this time, it is my honor and pleasure to bring onto, onto the platform our headmaster here at the Infinite Order of the Asiatic Magi, Dr. Pawatun Shiamaru. Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> alaikum salam, brother. Peace and blessings, family. How are you today? Well, alhamdulillah. Good, good, good. I'm doing good, great. Supreme, supreme. Good to see all of you here today. Feeling supreme. I'm glad to hear that. Good to have our brother here, Brother Shadi Aki, here today. He's going to give us some enlightening words on his beautiful work that we have. Uh, I've been banging all week, actually, since since I since I discovered that song. Assalamu alaikum, man. I can't get it out my head. So, okay. uh, man, that's 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 a banger right there, man. I'm telling you, put that in the car. That's something to rock your head to. So we're going to get to that in just a moment here, man. It's really excited to have you on here, brother. Uh, your music is absolutely 
amazing to say the least, you know, to say the least, really. It is infused with the Quran, it is infused with the words of Allah, it is infused with the wisdom of our people and our tribe. So, you know, nothing is better than to have, you know, music carry that vibration to our people. So we are we are honored to have you here today, beloved. Um, Shadi Aki, everybody. <laughs> Let's talk, beloved. What's going on? How's life? Going great. Um, we just had the uh, what was the Aboriginal Nations Unity Fest. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago, so I performed live. That's there. right. Um, so I'm just right now. I'm just working on an album, um, and it'll probably be out maybe next summer. Okay. I have to finish up a couple more songs and get the marketing together. Okay. Uh, but other than that, been doing great. Uh, I just had my first son in August. Congratulations, brother! Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. That's beautiful, brother. Thank you. What's Thank his you. name, God? Yasir. Yasir, beautiful brother. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, starting a life, starting your family. I know right. your, your, wife, your wife's name is Maya. Is it Maya? Yes. Yes, Maya. Maya. It's sister Maya. So y'all y'all got a beautiful family, brother. That's that's how old are you, God? 33 now. 33. 33. Young man, married, baby, family, career. Right. National. Right. Definitely. Man. All the all the boxes are checked, Shadi. All the boxes are checked. Tell us what is your inspiration for your music. Um, well, of course, me being Muslim, um, that's what gave me the idea. Um, and then a little more than that, I always tell the story of uh, when I was about 16 years old, and um, my mom called me into the living room, and they, the Million Man March was on the TV. Um, and so I went in there, sat down, watched it. <clears throat> I think that was specifically the Million Moore movement, uh, 2005. Oh, and, wow. Yeah. So it, it was just inspirational. Wow. Um, and Farrakhan had, they had a lot of different artists. I think Wyclef was one of them. Right. And different artists who were coming in and just mm -hmm. having positive, uplifting music, mm -hmm. um, you know, that was geared toward the liberation of our people. Right. Um, and from that point on, I just knew that that's, that's what I wanted to do. Well, praise is due to Allah. Did you perform there? No, no, no. Yeah, so that time, that was just my first time being introduced. I think I heard it a million men march before. Well, how um, old were you then in 2005? How old were you? I was uh, 16. 16 years old. Right, right, right. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, when you said the Million Man March, I remember the day I left to go to the Million Man March, you know, in, in 1995. I remember in, instantly when you said it, I remembered the face on my daughter's, the, the look on my daughter's face, because she was like one years old <laughs> when I was <laughs> leaving. So, yeah, brother, um, that's inspiring. That's that 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 shows that something good came out of that situation because your your music is international you know from what i've seen man people all over the world are listening to shadi aki philadelphia right. is bump you know philly you know we you know this is islam east so <laughs> this is <laughs> east you know we got it all in philly we got nation of islam the sunnah the wahhabis we got everybody right so right. your music is touching so many different Muslims. Um, this song, when I first heard "Assalamu Alaikum, brother, literally, I was sitting in this chair in tears. I texted you immediately. I was like, oh my God, this brother <laughs> hit it on the point. I ain't no suicide bomber, but this book be the bomb. Man, that hit me. That hit me. Because that's what we, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a being an adult in 9-11, right and being on a job that morning and remembering what took place and remembering the tensions in the community with the muslim community you know our our mosque had signs put on it they were throwing eggs on different masjids and worse in some other places you know so when you when you when you put that out there now brother in that spirit 
has changed a lot towards Muslims and now the younger Muslims are expressing themselves differently and like you and I like it brother I really like it because it's time for us to grow up and it's time like you you gave a talk about Islam and music and I listened to it I want you to reflect on that with the people please so you you're saying that you saw a talk with me no I saw you on YouTube talking about Islam mm -hmm. and music okay because I, I did a I did a lot of different uh I know that there's there ought to be people who my question is and then there are people who will say that Islam and music don't go together right you, know? you can't sing in Islam when we know the prayers are all melodic we know right. those prayers are all done with the mental influences of the voice right, right. so there's rhythm there so right. tell us how you combat those things on your journey as you go around the world and you perform. Yeah, uh, I mean, I know exactly what you're speaking about now. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing explicitly in the Quran um, or even referring to it that is against music in itself. Right. You know, um, the Quran is against anything that's going to be um, promoting things that, you know, are do not move human life forward yes, um, so that can that can be through that can be music that can be poetry it can be books it can be television yes, you know sir. um music is just it's, it's it's like tv it's just a channel uh for you to express yourself through to send messages through yes so sir. it's not the music itself that is haram but it's the message that is coming through it oh good teaching good teaching and for those who don't know what the word haram means could you, right. you define you got but well, we got to define this era brother you know we speaking we right. speaking that arab english <laughs> right 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 right, right. <laughs> you so, know yeah, so haram how most muslims look at it is just it's not permissible in islam uh but when you look at the word haram you can you can see a relationship between the english word harm mm, good teaching brother yes so it's things that are harmful to yourself, your people, mm. humanity, you know, the mind, body, mm. soul, everything. I like um, that. Yes. I like the way you express that. You know, that's beautiful. It, it, I, I can't help it, brother. That is what the young people need. They need to be able to relate it. You know, at 55 years old, and I've been doing this a long time, sometimes, you know, you get a little bit away from the language of the people because there's an age gap but when you when you just put it together like that 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 was strong and that's just something that people will remember harm and haram that's so simple brother that's beautiful so the opposite of haram is halal and that is what is permissible and so what i hear in brother's music is that which is permissible you see i hear a beat I hear a, a joyous beat that uplifts the spirit. Then I hear words, you know, hold on, Zam Zam. Come on, talk about Zam Zam. I don't know who the brother was on with you, but he got that voice, brother. Oh my God, he had me dressing up in the house for no reason. Yeah, um, yeah, so, and, and just to go on, uh, you was bringing up Halal, uh, me and Permissible, uh, you can come to that. Is that me? Uh, I don't know. That was all the same thing. I love it. I'm not sure what that is. You can't occupy the same space at the same time. Yeah, it might be. Okay, it seems like it's, it's subsided now. Okay, yeah. so, um, yeah, so that word also compares to the English word whole, right? If you look at the, the consonants of the word, mm. uh, so it's that which is whole. Mm. Write that down. Right. I like that. Right. So a lot of the words, you know, when we in the Sunni community or the Orthodox community, they have mm -hmm. meanings which are kind of new meanings. You know what I'm saying? And um, mm -hmm. if you really think about the word itself, we look at it as it means permissible today, but why is that permissible? So we want to be able to explain to our children the mm -hmm. true essence of the word to under, for them to understand why it is permissible why something is impermissible mm -hmm. uh, but uh with zam zam um yeah that really what inspired that song was the actual beat like i heard the beat 
Mm-hmm. And um, the hook just came to my head. Yeah, brother. Um, and then, like, that's fire. That's right. fire, brother. That so is- you, uh, for people that don't know, in um, Islam, Zam Zam is referring to a well that exists and the tradition uh, exists in the Middle East, um, I believe in Mecca or a little outside Mecca. Mm-hmm. And uh, the tradition is that this well um, from uh, Sister of Hawa, mm-hmm. uh, from a prayer spang, sprang from the desert mm-hmm. and has been running uh, mm-hmm. since then. Uh, that's the tradition. Now, I'm not gonna say I know uh, in Arna, you know, we go deep into what these stories really mean, right? Um, the allegorical meaning of them, right, right. Um, but that is the that is the premise of the story, like you said. It is the a concept. You see, Hawa or Hagar in the in the in the Bible was running with her child. She was pregnant, right? And she had presented herself to Ibrahim, and Ibrahim. And according to different scripture, depends on where you look, Bible or Quran, when he presented this information to his family, they disagreed, right? They disagreed on his his idea of Hagar or Hawa being his his Zoj. So she was put out. She was put out into the desert. And according to the 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 the, the story, she ran, you know, through the Sahwa and the Mawa, which are two uh, hills. And when she became exhausted, she fell, and a well sprung up. Right. See? And that well is Zem Zem, and it's been flowing, you know, according to legend, ever since. So the, when we talk about Zem Zem water, we're talking about something that is physical, but yet a deep spiritual meaning. And so what I took from it was when he says in the song, the whole Ummah, the whole Ummah is the society, is the community, right? It's dripping like Zem Zem. I mean, Zem Zem water is the most precious water to the Muslim on the planet. Right. And if you wash your face or make wudu in this water, imagine the, the reflection on the Muslim from his, his mind, you see, or her mind, and their perception of this water and what it does to their being when they drink it or washing it or we drink it or we washing it i don't want to say they as though we're not muslim but i'm using that term to that we can describe everyone and not isolate ourselves or isolate anyone i like the shirt brother sunnah what's it say sunnah what sunnah music sunnah music i like it 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 a lot i like it a lot you know you know i grew up in islam here on the east coast you know so you know, growing back in the 80s and 90s, you know, young FOI who was out there with the paper, you right. know, we, came, we used to butt heads with the other Muslims quite often, you right. know, and, and a lot of debates came about and all these things. And over the years, what I believe it did for many of us is made us better Muslims. It sharpened us and it uni- unified us in many cases. Uh, the Sunnah, so people understand, it is representative of the ways and sayings, the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right now, in the Quran, the word Sunnah is mentioned too. It is mentioned in the context of Sunnah Allah, following the ways, deeds, and actions that Allah prescribes to us in Al Kitab. So we 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 can see Sunnah is our perception. If the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is following the ways that Allah has guided him then we are following Allah. Belief in Allah is belief in the messenger. That's what the Quran teaches us. So, my brother, our brother, I want you all to go out. Uh, it used to be in days you go out and buy the music, but you can sit right home and buy the music now. Get his right. music. Bump his music in your car. Let your children pl- listen to it. It's wholesome. You see? That's the thing. It's wholesome. I see the Christians, they have their gospel. You know, and they have their hip hop gospel and their young people are, are, are moving to that. This is even, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I guess I am being biased. To me, it's, you know what I mean? Because, man, it, it's just, it's just that when I go through the whole playlist and I'm listening to the different Muslima and how you address women in that song, you know, the Aki movement, you see? 
I mean, I've been listening to your music now, bro. Come on now. The Aki movement. Listen to the concepts. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's exciting when you understand because Aki means my brother. Right. Not just bro my brother. This is my brother. This he he made on he's making a movement based on that concept. And this is penetrating many minds. Go ahead, brother. Talk about it. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, to go to go into sooner. Um, I had to have a, you know, we had to create a name uh, that could give us a genre for people to be able to search for. Um, so that's how I, how I came up with that. And actually that whole, um, the concept kind of was grasped from gospel, you know, uh, Christians having gospel. And yes. if you look at it, what what is the, uh, or I don't want to say correlation, but what, um, do we have that similar um as far as the name mm. you know and uh mm. Suna is definitely not the opposite basically you know the same thing but in a different uh yeah, kind it is the same Alex, thing right yeah. 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 Uh, I agree. Then, yeah so as i always correlate them to english words you look at the word sun mm -hmm. you know and you can see that in Suna. Mm -hmm. uh so it's enlightenment you know wisdom mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, given to us by, you know, through, by Allah, through the Quran. That's right. Uh, so, and what you asked about, what, what was the next thing you asked? Well, I like the song also, Muslima. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, 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 that touches the sisters, man. That, that really, that's a soft, it's a soft cut right there. Tell me about that one. The sisters mm. didn't hear that, brother. Y'all gotta go out and, and listen to this song. It's really, it's right. really touching. Go ahead, brother. You probably made it for your wife. Go ahead. Let me hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, and, and, and all of the, you know, when I make an album, I try to make a wholesome album. Um, right. So I don't want every song sounding the same. Right. Um, I try to have a little bit of everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you can't leave out the sisters with that. That's right, brother. Uh, That's right. So I was like, I had to, you know, every album or EP or whatever I put out, I have to have a couple songs um, for the sisters, for them to be able to relate to. Um, and then also with that record, I wanted to do something a little different than hip hop or rap music. Um, so that's why I kind of did the um, uh, dance hall, dance hall feel. With yes, that sir. Record. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. I'm gonna get off the topic just a little bit here, Shadi, because, you know, just looking at you, your skin is glowing. Your hair is radiant. What what are you doing with your health, brother? You look amazing. Tell us about what, what's going on with your health. How come your hair is popping like that? <laughs> yeah, I just I'm, I'm a, uh, Aboriginal Medical Association. Come on, God, tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I follow the Aboriginal Medical Association. Um, right now, this we have a monthly fast. We will, we, first of all, we have Ramadan um, that comes around every December. Yes, sir. Uh, the month of the winter solstice. Um, now I know that's different than the average Muslim, you know, mm -hmm. but I mean, maybe we can get into that as we well. Do it. Um, and then there's also a monthly fast. Now, actually, I didn't even do the fast this month, mm -hmm. uh, but I try to stick to uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's regimen of one meal a day. Yes, sir. Um, and then, of course, we're not eating pork. Uh, yes. We eat carbon-based diets. If you do uh, add the meats, st things like um, wild-caught sea bass, wild-caught salmon. Bison. Um, yeah, and then bison, you know, so I do do bison once in a while. Uh, but for the yeah. most part, fruit, vegetables. Right. Um, and we do we do salmon. We do the wild-caught salmon a lot, too. Very good, um, so, yeah, one meal a day. I'm um, just making sure I'm eating carbon-based foods. And... Um, that's it, you know. And watch, brother, the, the, when you and your wife, your Zoj, I like Zoj better than wife because it illustrates a partnership more than a ownership. So when we, we deal with your Zoj and your reasoning, uh, rearing your child and eating this way, the benefits are astronomical. Right. You know, the benefits yeah. of thinking right and keeping harmful influences away from the Zoj while she's carrying the embryo is, is extremely important and then you have you have the result right. you know 
I'm sure if your hair is popping, the baby's skin and hair and nails, <laughs> right. and everything, that's a strong, that's a sign of you getting the proper magnesium, the proper zinc. I see life in your face, you see? And this is the message as well. When you go out and you say the words, assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam, they can see it in your skin. You see, we're doing more than talking about it. We're living it. You see, if you come and study with us in Arna and any of his outlets here in our jurisdiction, we have the school, the infinite or the Asiatic Magi. You know, you can be an old man and have pretty skin, too. It's up to you. <laughs> you make the choice of what you put in your mouth. Food can keep us here and food can take us away. And I will add this. Music can keep us here. And music can take us away. Right. With the conflict going on right now all around the country with Brother Ye, you got to weigh in, brother. Let us know. What you think? Mm. Uh, I mean, I feel that <clears throat> definitely, you know, what he was speaking about, you know, from the whole situation of them, you know, uh, different, the different companies, uh, you know, dropping him and uh mm -hmm. removing his videos you know mm -hmm. what he said basically was true like they just pr basically proved everything he said <laughs> you know what i'm saying that yep. Yep. when we have music about killing black men mm -hmm. um you know degrading our women mm -hmm. uh, doing these uh, these negative aspects participating in these negative aspects of life right. um they keep that up you know, they don't they don't remove it because it degrades us, That's you right. know. But as soon as something is seen as even though he really didn't say anything degrading uh, to Jewish did. people, it was specifically who the Jews who he was dealing with, you That's know, right. um, who are over the music industry right. and over the entertainment industry. Right. Um, you know, and he's speaking his truth. Mm -hmm. So. All he was saying was that, you know, like I said, they want me, they want music, they want entertainment that is degrading to our people. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to them, we can't say anything, even if it's true about them, you know, and then right after that, they took it down. So, I mean, yeah. it, you know, it, it really just proves so, the point. That's the history, you know, that's right. the history. We know the history since 1492, when Cristobal Colon came here, uh, you know, he was Jewish. Um, and he signed his name with the, with the Jewish symbol of Christos on his hidden letters as Cristobal Colon and not Christopher Columbus. So we know the history. We have the secret relationships. We have the text. Um, it's good to see, to live in a time where the manifestation of these things are coming to the public. You know, I've heard it my whole life. We've known it our entire, in the Muslim community, this is common. And we're not even shocked because we know. We've been dealing with Yahudi forever, <laughs> right? Now, now we have a, a, a very powerful figure, Ye, right? The first, the, the, the first letter of Ye is Yod, which means hand in the Hebrew language. And this man is putting his hand against what is wrong. The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, according to Hadith, it said, if you oppose something, and I'm not quoting it verbatim, but the best I remember, you should either act against it, speak against it, or oppose it quietly in your heart. But you are not to do nothing. You are not to do nothing. You have to do something, you see? Even if it's the, the smallest thing is to oppose it in your heart. You see, so so brother brother told you know the music that that you're producing. I believe, brother, by listening over the last few weeks and from the from the from the from the time we were together in Atlanta a few weeks ago to the day, I listened to you this morning, right? I like to get get my day going with a little assalamu alaikum now. Okay. So, uh, but I'm sure my family might be a little bit tired of hearing it by now. <laughs> <laughs> but I see this brother. As you get prepared for your day and you have your mind in that mindset, that vibration goes out to the people that you intend to serve, you see? And they begin to feel that energy. 
And, and I tell you, beloved, your, your work is resonating. It is really resonating um, throughout different genres of Muslims uh, and, not, and non-Muslims because the principles are universal. You know, they're, they're really universal. I can't wait to hear your next album. Now, this is what I wanted to say before I ask you about the next album is, do you realize, and I'm sure you do, but I want to hear how you realize it, that what you are producing will obliterate what exists. Yes. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, a rising force will totally destroy and obliterate an existing force. You see? You... In your this genre of music is gaining popularity fast. I mean, it's moving almost at 186,000 miles per second. So we see it coming real fast, right? Now, when it reaches that peak, I'm seeing a culmination of what's going on with Ye and what you're producing coming up. He's <laughs> he's conditioning the soil <laughs> for your breakthrough, right? So tell me what your plans are to take advantage of that opportunity in your next work. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the goal, you know. Um, you were talking about the Hadith also in the Quran. It talks about the people that are going to be spreading corruption um, in the land. Mm. And that's your job. Our job is to tell the truth regardless, you know, mm. to seek knowledge and to tell the truth and um, to do what's necessary to obliterate those, those corruptors. That's right, brother. So, um, so that's what my plan is to do with my music. Um, I'm st I've been strategically marketing toward the Muslim community. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, so I, I've been strategically marketing toward the Islamic community, um, but because when it becomes comes to business, you have to have a niche. Yes, sir. Um, and you have to have a core fan base um who you're providing value to mm. and, and if the music is good you'll be able to transcend that and then go and reach to other audiences um, so that's been my plan and that's what i've been doing um mm -hmm. like you said i have everybody hitting me up buddhists mm -hmm. hindus mm -hmm. atheists telling me they like the music and they're not even muslim that's right brother yeah. they do I, brother listen I've, I've sat with all those communities. I've sat with the Himalayan Buddhists, right? I've done the sand with them. I blew the horn with them, right? I've, yeah, I've sat with the Sufis. I've ate with them. I wouldn't eat off the shaped plate, but we, we talked about <laughs> it. But <laughs> it's just my personal thing. I'm not eating off your plate, bro. But, you know, we did all these things, you know? And I know this is, this is what I'm seeing in you, God. A young brother like yourself, you know? 30, 33? Yes. They said that's the, the, you know, that they put that on Issa. That's when they took him out, right? Yes. So right. This, is the, this is the time for you to ascend. This is the ascending age. If I looked at your cards, it would show me that. This is your ascending age, right? And you come into the world, man, strong and powerful, brother. You have our support. You have my support. You got the cards. You got cosmology. You got whatever we do in the Magi Temple behind you so you can i'm assuring you success beloved because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you and in you and operating through you you see right. it is it is true i see it i see it brother yeah i, I saw that you uh master taqwa in brooklyn right were you there no actually that's uh master taqwa in trenton new jersey oh in trenton new jersey yeah, oh my yeah. god 19 so I go back through the years, bro. 1998, we did a march in Trenton, 10,000 man march. Okay, okay. I was in Minnesota, Atlantic City. I took like, uh, I don't know, a couple thousand people up to that march. It was fun back in the day. Yeah, yeah I, I think I have been to the one in Brooklyn uh, as well. But that's what everybody always says. You talking about the one in Brooklyn, Master the Top? Yeah, yeah, because that's the uh, Minnesota Raja Hodge is in Brooklyn. Right. Right, that's right, the most right. popular one. Um, right. Yeah, I'm, I grew up in the one um, in Trenton, New Jersey. That's where I was born. Okay, good, good, good. I like that. I like that. Trenton, New Jersey. So what was it like growing up in Trenton? Um, I mean, you know, a lot of negative influences. Um, but see, I, I actually grew up in the War of the Muhammad community. Yes, sir. Uh, and you know, the, you know the whole spill with that. Oh, yeah, brother, uh, no doubt. 
Right, right, right. So no. I grew up in that community um, early on. So I was in Master early on as a child, as a, uh, you know, when I was born, basically, um, well, I was born to two Muslim parents. And then I've basically been in the Master since, you know, a baby. A little baby, um, right. And then once I got a little older, my parents broke up. So I wasn't in the Master that as much, um, but I was back and forth. And, you know, of course, there was a lot of um, negative influences. I got in, you know, everybody gets into some things. Um, but because I had that good uh, upbringing, I was able to just to jump right back, you know, to who I really was. Yes, 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 sir, brother. Yes, sir. Well, that's the seed. I believe, it, from my perspective, that is the seed of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know. So irrespective to the teacher that presents him and their personal feelings, the seed is going to follow its nature, right? So when you put that seed in the right soil, it's going to germinate. You know, when I was used to sell cars back in the day, I used to get these cigars, I get a case of cigars every month to get my, my, my people I would sell cars to. I was off the dean at the time I met, right? So, and I'm not ashamed of it. It's an experience I went through that made me a better human being, right? So I would order these cigars, and as I would study the cigars, I learned that when the Cuban embargo went down, I was telling my students this the other night, when the Cuban embargo went down and they stopped tobacco from being grown, from buying tobacco from Cuba, cigars from Cuba, the Cuban guys, they just moved to the Dominican Republic. It's the same soil, you know what I'm And they grew their cigars there. So you get the same quality in a different location, right? I use that as a backdrop because irrespective of where you put that seed when you put it in fertile soil and you take care of it and nurture it you get a shoddy IQ. you get a power tune shiama rule right you get a namataga shia Ali, right you get those things because of the ingredient that's in the seed see that's who you are brother that's just who you are now you know the imam's community and we want to talk about the imam's community uh, and the Nation of Islam uh, from, from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's time and where it went in different directions, you know? You got Minister Farrakhan's organization, you got Silas Muhammad's organization, you got Imam Wahidin Muhammad's organization, and you, you got some crazy people out here too, right? I'm sorry, no, no disrespect, but you got some people that are on the fringe that aren't really with anybody, They're just saying whatever they want to say. So when we deal with these communities, what I see that branch from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is a new world. We don't all think alike, but guess what? If we pull our resources and we do our trade and commerce with each other, we could keep the dollar rotating within these three, these four or five communities within itself, and we could build whatever we want. We don't have, you know, the Europeans work together like that. They don't agree solely on who Jesus Christ is, the Ethan Orthodox Church, the Pope, the Catholics, the Pentecostals, all this, but they run a world. You know, we're letting, we're straining at a net, and we're swallowing a whole camel. <laughs> right. So, you know, we got to, maybe, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that through music, we can find that universal note, you know. I tell people when we do meditation, we drop that, that, hum, 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 down to that guttural G. We get to that G note. And then the vibration in the G begins to wake up the sacral chakra or the magnetic vortex that's situated in the perineum. And when that begins to open up, the life energy wakens up, that creative force wakens up in you. And it's done through music. You, brother. I just want to leave you with the impression today, brother, that your, your, your purpose on this plane of existence is so universal in, in vibration was, I know personally, I wouldn't have been that attracted to the music. You know, I'd have shut it off days ago. That's how I am, I exhaust myself, and if I don't like it, I listen to it for a couple of days and I'm done with it. But right. this, I can't put it down. So it it, it it has what is needed for the people. And you haven't been any slouch on representing, you know, opposite views, you know? So we look at honors being represented, Sunni Islam is being represented. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad is being represented. How do you manage all that, brother? Well, um, 
they're kind of all different uh, transitions. A lot of the music uh, that I have online now um, is more geared toward or started in the SUNY realm. Mm -hmm. As I started, uh, you know, growing and learning more, mm -hmm. my music started to shift a little more. Mm -hmm. um, I started, I remember, I think 2018, maybe. Um, I've read uh, Message to the Black Man, um, Autobiography of Malcolm X, not in that order, actually the Autobiography of Malcolm X first. Then that led me to the Message to the Black Man. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I ran into Dr. Ali, started getting on that knowledge. And yeah. that started leading me back to the messenger. And I was going back and learning, basically relearning everything. Uh, being from the War of the Muhammad community, like, yes, they have respect for the messenger, but they're not, you know, they're not teaching the teachings anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So as I started going back to that, that really was my transition with putting more of the teachings into the music. Right. And then after that was venturing into Arna. Right. You know, so there were all stages um and they all have positive aspects about each each one of those that's right you know, so i'm gonna take all the positive aspects from everything and you know put them together sure. um and, I, and, I, and i'm gonna leave what was um not productive from sunni islam um you know to the side there you go brother that's the absolute truth let me share this with you because this is what you just described to me, and this is how I heard it. So I got to share it with you. Chapter 16, verse 68. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And our Lord revealed to the bee, make hives in the mountains and in the trees, and in what they build. Then eat of all the fruits and walk in the ways of thy Rab, thy Lord, submissively. There comes forth from their bellies a beverage of many hues, in which there is healing for men. Therein is surely a sign for people who reflect. That's what you just described to me, brother. In you, there's a healing. And I'm going to wrap up with this point here because we got some announcements and stuff. But think about this. There's six healing sounds. You know, my school is about healing mentally, physically, spiritually. There are six healing sounds. And the healing sound in the heart creates a honey-like substance when you make the sound. And it begins to cause healing there when your words go out brother and this vibration goes out you notice sometimes you hear sounds and it just makes your skin crawl or it raises your desire there's so many things that you you're going to do brother there's so many avenues that you'll create in this you know with electromagnetism and with music and i just see so many things that you're going to do brother dr shadi Aiki. you know what i mean that's what i see I don't see just, man, I see something else, brother. I see something else coming out of you that's really grand that the people can really learn from way down the road, way down the road. I'm going to leave with this one point. Yakub, you know who Yakub is? Yakub worked, it took him 600 years for him to make his man. 600. He didn't live 600 years. See, the wise man plants the tree, the shade of which he shall never enjoy. So thank you, brother, for coming today. I appreciate you. Any closing comments or statements or anything, any, any links you would like us to reach out to to get to your music, let us know. We're here to support you 100%, God. Yeah, first I want to say, uh, I, meant, I meant to say Hadjar instead of Hawa earlier when I was talking about the Zam Zam. It's all good, man. <laughs> Happy that, you corrected that the words the uh, names are similar so mm -hmm. um other than that like i said i have an album that's going to be coming out next summer 
Um, if anybody, I'm also in the Jural Society as well in Arna. Uh, so after the elections, we're going through the civics classes and, you know, we're going to be doing everything that we need to do for to gain autonomy for our people mm -hmm. um, and expanding and working toward that mission that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Mass Farah Muhammad had for us. Yes, sir, bro. Uh, so if you don't know about ARNA, look into ARNA. Uh, the Aboriginal Republic of North America. That's right. Uh, you know, um, other than that, like I said, I had the album. Uh, we're working in Arna. So thank you for having me. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You know, uh, by the way, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I voted for you. So, so everybody here, should, I don't know who you voted for. You don't have to state who you voted for in, the, in, the, in, in, in our government, but you should have voted for somebody. We have to participate in this process. But I want to have you back to come back and talk about the jurist work. You got to come back and we're building jurisdiction here. We need advice, tips. You know, we're going to have you come back at some point and talk about that work, you know. So uh, any questions for brother while we while we have him here? We got about 15 more minutes. And actually, we got about 10 more minutes, right? Brother, okay. Any more questions? Um, what platform can we purchase your music, brother? Uh, I'm on all streaming platforms. So if you just type in Shadiaki, S-H-A-D-I space A-K-H-I, uh, Apple Music, really any um, streaming platform that you have, you'll be able to find me on. Um, as far as my music videos, those are all on YouTube, uh, my Shadiaki channel. Um, and then the album, I'm actually not going to release it on streaming platforms. I'm going to just release that on my personal website, mm -hmm. uh, which is soonamusic.com. So right. when that comes out, you'll be able to buy that from me personally, because um, you know, you got to cut out the middleman, so. All right, all right, that's right. Hey man, that's the way to go. That's the, that's the move right now, right? Sister right. asked a question, brother, you have brother, if an opportunity for a question, are there any future plans for, is that bots to the ground tours? Boots to the ground tours to get the energy uh, to and message to our people. Boots to the grounds, brother. You gonna you gonna go on any tours? Yeah, um, yeah. Actually, uh, I've been uh, networking and communicating with a. Uh, uh, I want to say they're a podcast. They're a group of people called Freedom Exchange, mm -hmm. and I actually spoke to them about trying to put together a sooner music tour. Um, so I just had that communication with them. I had an interview, I had an interview with them last week. And then I think in the, during the month of September, that's when I brought that idea to them. Um, other than that, I just been doing like single shows of if somebody books me, uh, like, uh, Dr. Powell's unseen, uh, I was in Philly, mm -hmm. uh, at Pansy Landon yep. for the, uh, Islamic Heritage Day. Mm -hmm. And then recently at the Aboriginal Nations Unity Fest. So, so far, I've just been, you know, if you book me, I'll come out, I'll perform. Um, but we want to, in the future, um, plan a Sooner Music Tour. There you go. I like it. I love everything about it. One second here. I got another question for you. It looks like it's coming in. Okay. <laughs> I have a question. Go ahead, sister. Um, so, brother, are you um, are you working with uh, like a, a specific DJ, and are you willing to um, expand your your team that you have? Uh, no, I'm not working with a specific DJ, and I am willing uh, to expand my team. I actually been thinking about. Um, having a DJ to be able to uh, spin my music, you know, for my performances. So um, you can reach out to me. Um, Instagram is Shadiaki, Facebook, Shadiaki. Um, also, my email is Shadiaki.Akipasi. That's a lot of words. Uh, S H A D I A K H I. Dot a k h i p a s i at gmail.com. Um, so if you want to reach out to me, um, for those services and you want to link and 
see what we can uh, we can work out. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, brother. Sounds well, good. I love it. I love it. Any other questions for our brother? Any questions for me? Brother tell him, oh, brother uh, Kosti. Let's hear that. Let's hear that. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Roger that. You got that queued up for us? I do. Give me just one moment. <laughs> Let me know if y'all can hear it. Can you hear it? You're hearing some of it. <laughs> Would it be better if you uh could you could you share the video on your screen or yeah, can you share the video, brother? Yeah, give me just one moment. Tell Mark, uh you got the your your announcements ready, brother? Yes, yes. yes. Right. Okay, he's gonna share the video, then after that we'll be ready to roll with announcements. I definitely want everybody to see this. Why is it going so fast, brother? Yeah, we can't hear the volume. Hear the uh, audio. Say again. We couldn't hear the volume. Oh wow. There. I said, you said, Malaykum, Asalaam. He said, what do we just say? Peace, peace be upon. I just gave you the salams. Now I'ma give you this Quran. I ain't no suicide bomber, but this book be the bomb. Hey, got my kufi on my designer throw. Don't know nothing about Islamophobe, but I know something about Islamic code. You just stumbling on a pot of gold. I know something about the honor code. I'm 100 like the honor gold. It ain't my kind of crowd. If Shay Chan's there, I gotta go. If I ain't got nothing else, Lord, Lord knows I got the ding. I, got the ding. I don't need nothing else. Follow that, sit out the moose the king. I keep posse be the team. I, I keep posse on my jeans. If a lot permits me like Malcolm X, I get guap. I get means. I get her loud money. Inshallah, I'ma be married with children like Al Bundy. Just believe it, get round from me. You can't even get a pound from me. This dean now fit I'm here to paint this picture. Got it straight from scripture. I hopped up out the frying pan, helped out by a high hand. Had the inclination to get inspiration from the information from my man. He draws out the diagram. I spit you the diaphragm. This is soon the music, not a slime trap, cause I ain't rapping about buying grass. I said, Asalaam Alaikum. You said, Alaikum Asalaam. He said, What do we just say? Peace be upon. I just gave you the salams. Now I'ma give you this Quran. I ain't no suicide bomber, but this book be the bomb. Assalamu alaikum, you say, alaikum assalam, he said, what do we to say, peace be upon, I just gave you the salams, now I'ma give you this Quran, I ain't no suicide bomber, but this book be the bomb, hey, assalamu alaikum, that say it, say it, abbreviate it, another one got sent down, cause the people of the book deviated, I came with the remedy, fresh start, I mean remedy, you your head moving by himself, disconnected with the body like a centipede, no run around, Hit game when I come around, hit me ain't no gun around, spit flame, I don't dumb it down, I call the most noble, look, look it up on your mobile, it's slime on every coast, this thing done went global, now we everywhere, I said, assalamu alaikum, you said, alaikum assalam, he said, what do we just say, peace be upon, I just gave you the salams, now I'ma give you this Quran, I ain't no suicide bomber, but this book be the bomb, hey, I said, hey, assalamu alaikum, Beautiful brother, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Brother Telemark, give us some yes, announcements, sir. brother. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate 
this lovely podcast. This is awesome. Thank you again, Shadi Aki. Um, I'm the DJ that's going to reach out to you. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, we're going to talk, brother. We're going to talk. Um, Our zone, brother. But yeah, man, this is the the high sciences that we are learning here. We love it. Um, Peace. If y'all would love to be a part of these high sciences and these classes that we have here, you can visit um, www.powertunchiamaru.org. If you feel like this was any value to you, please, please, please send your nickels, your dollars, your dimes, anything to dollar sign communicating better. Uh, this would definitely help um, the podcast, but it will greatly help our temple and the work that we're gonna be bringing out. Um, again, we want you to support our sponsors as well. Uh, make sure you visit um, <clears throat> brothercosty.com for your brand development as well, if you wanna be as successful as brother uh, Shadi Aki, right? But obviously Shadi Aki got it right. So um, <laughs> make sure you visit uh, brothercosty.com for brand development. Make sure you uh, visit Fatima Trust for virtual um, assistance services. And again, visit the Black Reserve Bookstore. That is our very own Sheikh Anwar uh, bookstore. And he's holding some very, very awesome titles. So please visit that title again. Thank you all for tuning in to this lovely podcast, Brother uh, Powhatan. Thank you, beloved. I'm going to add to that announcement. If anyone is looking for any uh, esoteric books, uh, I am I am going to be distributing from my, uh, not from my collection, but from some distributors. I'll be able to get some really uh, ancient stuff for you. You're interested in some nice leather-bound texts that are maybe late 1800s on the cards and on different esoteric sciences please reach out to me and you'll be able to order these to our site very soon. So we'll, we're in the process of gathering that information from you. A lot of the information from, um, from Al Buna when we deal with uh, the different esoteric sciences of the Quran and the Picatrix and the mansions of the moon and uh, different, different the, the, the cosmology of Islam. So with that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Brother Shadi Aki, we really appreciate you, beloved. And, and we're going to have you back real soon uh, to talk about jurisdiction, to talk about law, to, tell us, to show us how to transition from bopping our heads to bopping that pen. <laughs> right? So that's what we need to learn next. So uh, hopefully you're listening. Our next program won't air into December. We're going to take November off to restructure some things on the podcast and to uh, redo some things for you. So when we come back, You'll have a host of people that will be ready to guide you and teach you uh, on Sundays. We'll be having our Sunday classes, but it will not be live into the public. It will be just dealing with our registered members. If you're interested in registering, please reach out to me today, 223-322-9982. My special ends today for $1,300. The class is $1,900 a year, Um, and that right now is a $200 registration fee. Uh, generally a $600 registration fee, so I would take that up. It closes tomorrow at midnight. That sound like an infomercial to you? Tomorrow at midnight. So we thank you again for for being here, brother. You are an incredible, an incredible, I hope this goes to your head. I really want it to go to your head. You are an incredible inspiration for our people. Guide your son, teach him to be better than you, and love your wife, beloved. Let's take us out with that Zam Zam, brother. Trust me, it's their mistake, their mistake, their mistake, dripping like Zam Zam. Give them hit after hit, this a grand slam. Just like an Afrab, shit about the desert, so they calling me Sandman. Mixed job over right stand, being nice, they calling me Land Man. You can find a Muslim up in every city, like in every city, there's a man, man. I'm a hot star, I don't wanna be a pop star. Toast to the good life, drinking iron alcoholic, that's a hot bar. 
I go shawty yaki, you can call me big I tune the music, that's Islamic hip hop Keep going till I hit the tip top Hit the dates, only time I piss Stop time, of the Muslims, check your wrist Watch, never switch up on me, I don't flip flop Shake the shake time, he can kick rocks Muslims come out every time I spit guys Got jockeys in the doors Whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem Got up these in the rows Whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem Muslim designer clothes Whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem Now everybody knows Whole Uma drippin' like Zem Zem Got Akis in the doors Whole Uma drippin' like Zem Zem Got a piece in the robes Whole Uma drippin' like Zem Zem My slim designer clothes Whole Uma drippin' like Zem Zem Now everybody knows Whole Uma drippin' like Zem Zem In the sport of self-destruction Muslims with the antioxidants Disbelief is transgressing Taking all of these intoxicants It ain't enough for discussion We ain't follow when we do the opposite But speaking truth to power I think they gave Muhammad Ali Parkinson's Oh Allah, give us good health in this year and the year after Oh Allah, granted success in this world and the hereafter Oh Allah, we only fear you ain't nothing to fear after Oh Allah, make every sun, every eye the clear chapter Got Akis in the doors, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. Got up these in the robes, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. My slim designer clothes, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. Now everybody knows, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. Got Akis in the doors, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. Got up these in the robes, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. My slim designer clothes, whole Uma dripping like Zem Zem. Now everybody knows. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, brother, beautiful. Brother Rashad, you want to take us out? Brother Mulatin? You ready? Take us out with the with the Afataha. Goes out for today. Thank you, brother. Shout out key again, brother. That 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 Zem Zem will rock that the rest of the day. May Allah bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Allo Fuzilahi, Minash Ne Regime. Bismi Allah Hirakman Ne Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alami, Herakman Nerahim, Iyakana Melekio Medin, Iyakana Abudewa, Iya Nistain, Ek Dinesaroto Mustakin, Sarat Aladina, Anti Alehim, Gairo Makdubi Alehim, Wale Dulin. Amen. Alhamdulillah. Very good, very good, Alhamdulillah. And when we when we say our prayer and we make mistakes at the end of our prayer, we when we raising salah on the rug, we make two extra prostrations when you make a mistake. Okay? Alhamdulillah. So it's okay. We make mistakes. We're humans. And the Quran says we are forgetful. So don't beat yourself up when you make a mistake. Okay? Because I can hear it in your voice. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah bless us all. Have a wonderful day. Go forth and bless your families. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank you, brother, for for your your time, man. It's appreciated. Well,